Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Bio.com and Asus recently launched this in India, the brand new ROG Zephyrus S17 2021 edition. And this is a high-end premium gaming laptop that costs almost 3 lakh rupees. Yup, 3 lakh rupees. Now that's obviously expensive, so what does this bring for the price? What are the specs? Well, let's take a look at the new ROG Zephyrus S17. So this is the new Zephyrus S17 2021, but first up, if you guys remember, the 2020 edition of the S17 was also a fantastic high-end gaming laptop, but it was not perfect. It had no LAN port, no webcam, and it had this weird keyboard and trackpad placement. Well, the new ROG Zephyrus S17 fixes all of that while bringing in so many upgrades everywhere else, so many top-of-the-line features. So you know what, let's divide this video into two parts, the two most important aspects in a gaming laptop. Number one, the hardware, aka the CPU, GPU, thermals. Number two, the design, aka the display, the keyboard, the ports, etc. So starting off with the hardware, the Zephyrus S17 brings an upgrade everywhere, like I said. The laptop is powered by the powerful new 11th gen Tiger Lake H series CPU, Core i9-11900H to be more specific. There's also the RTX 3080 laptop GPU with 16 GB DDR6 VRAM. There's also 32 gigs of 3200 mHz RAM with 16 GB soldered and 16 GB in an expandable slot. There's also 2 TB of PCIe Gen 4 RAID 0 SSD. Now these are great specs, top of the line. I mean, I know a lot of people scoff at Intel, but this is a full power Core i9 processor with 8 cores, 16 threads, double L3 cache size, PCIe 4.0 bandwidth support, and Turbo Boost Max 3.0, which means the CPU can go up to 4.9 GHz. Now it won't be the Ryzen 9 in terms of efficiency because this is a 10 nanometer chipset and the AMD chipset is a 7 nanometer one. But apart from that, I think it's on par when it comes to performance in demanding apps as well as gaming. And that's where it matters the most, especially in a gaming laptop like this. The RTX 3080 laptop GPU here is powerful too. I mean, it brings 140 watt of max graphics power with Dynamic Boost 2.0, which is awesome. And this is at the end of the day, a 30 series GPU from Nvidia and that means it's built on the new Ampere architecture and supports PCIe Gen 4, real-time ray tracing, DLSS 2.0, and NVIDIA Reflex. Anyway, this is a laptop that should handle pretty much everything, be it intensive apps, video editing software, AAA gaming titles, but I focused on AAA gaming titles because, you know, that's more fun. I mean, I'm someone who's not a big PC gamer, but the gaming performance on this laptop is so good that I've been gaming a lot. In fact, the truth is, I've wasted a couple of days just gaming on this thing. So I majorly played two titles, Hitman 3 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the performance has been exceptional. Hitman 3 I played on 4K with the graphics set to Ultra, and the average FPS was around 80, which is very, very good. And there was no lag, no stutter. When it comes to Valhalla, I played the game at Ultra 2, and the average FPS was around 60, which is again great because this is an intensive AAA title. Now one thing to note here is that I generally spent 2-3 hours on the trot gaming and I found the thermal performance to be very good. See the Zephyrus S17 also has Asus's upgraded AAS Plus design which lifts up the keyboard here to an angle as you can see. And this opens up a 12mm air intake that increases airflow by almost 25% and also means that the laptop can you know intake more cooler air from above. Now apart from this the laptop has 4 exhausts like this one for heat dissipation and each exhaust is lined up with ultra thin copper fins. There are also 6 heat pipes that pull the heat from the CPU, GPU and the VRAM and there's also 2 upgraded arc flow fans that you know have 84 custom blades and there's liquid metal compound from Thermal Grizzly to reduce the CPU temperature. So that's a lot of things. So Asus has clearly focused a lot on the thermal performance in this gaming laptop and so far in my usage they seem to have gotten things very right. So I noticed this panel below the screen going to 50 degrees and more, but the keyboard, the trackpad, they remain fine, which is very important. Because that means my gameplay was not hampered with any heating issues. As for the fans, they are somewhat audible when you're gaming for long hours, but I felt the fan noise was a little lower when compared to the last gen. And overall, it's much better than a lot of other gaming laptops out there. Now for anyone wondering, there is Armory Crate with a number of operating modes, so you can customize the performance according to your needs. Anyway, let's talk about the second important factor in gaming laptops and that's the design. And that's where I think Asus has made some really nice changes in the Zephyrus S17 2021. Well, the Zephyrus S17 has the magnesium aluminium alloy body with diamond cut edges all around. 
The lid also features this ROG logo and this cut in between with this pattern on the other side and all of it I think looks really classy and premium. Now this finish is all around the laptop even the palm rest where there's also a sort of rubber finish which makes it very cool touch and by the way as you can see Asus has moved to a more traditional keyboard and trackpad design which I think is the right move and you know what I love the upgraded keyboard here it's probably one of the best I've used on a Windows laptop. I mean, the keyboard is an optical mechanical keyboard and the experience here is amazing, be it while typing or gaming. And that's thanks to the tactile clicky feel and 1.9 millimeter of key travel. Now check out the layout and I like that all the keys are well spaced out. They're full size, even the arrow keys, and they're all placed in the right location. Now one cool thing here is the volume wheel, which is bigger and more responsive now. And it also has more functionality. By default, it changes the volume, but you can press hold on it and change that. You can use it for scrolling, turning on or off mic, changing the brightness of the screen and the keyboard. Use it to even switch between tasks. So yeah, this is pretty cool. The keyboard also has per key RGB lighting as you must have noticed and there are different aura effects to choose from. And the power button has a fingerprint scanner which is pretty fast. As for the trackpad, it's a large glass one with Windows precision support and it's pretty good. It's very responsive to gestures, very accurate. The clicks feel solid and it just, you know, is excellent overall. Now, another important aspect when it comes to gaming laptops is the display. And the ROG Zephyrus S17 GX703 comes in two display variants. The one we have has a 17-inch IPS anti-glare display with 4K USD resolution, 120Hz refresh rate and 3ms response time, adaptive sync support, 100% DCI-P3, Pantone validation and Dolby Vision support. Now the other variant of this laptop comes with a QHD panel with the 165Hz high refresh rate and it also has support for G-Sync and Advanced Optimus. So I think a lot of gamers might prefer that variant. Anyway, the 4K 120Hz panel on our unit looks great. When it comes to picture quality, it's obviously a very sharp and very well calibrated panel. And I did notice that the colors look really good on this panel. The contrast and viewing angles are also fairly good too and the screen gets bright enough which is pretty good for a gaming laptop. And as for the responsiveness, the 120Hz refresh rate makes sure that fast-paced games look crisp and smooth. And yeah, I noticed that in my gaming usage. Apart from that, the display has very minimal bezels around the sides and the top, but there is a webcam on the top here, which is a good thing because the last version did not have that. The chin is bigger, but that's not a big deal. Then there's also this panel here below the keyboard that has the big status LEDs, and this panel is visible even when you close the lid. The chassis also has a set of six speakers powered by Dolby Atmos, including four tweeters firing upwards and two woofers firing downwards. There's also three mics for two-way AI noise cancellation. As for the speaker quality, the sound here is very clean, even on higher volumes. And I noticed a good amount of depth and bass, which is pretty good. But there's one thing, I would have liked the speaker to be louder, but overall above average speakers here. Then there are the ports, the connectivity, on the right, you only have the SD card reader and a couple of USB-A ports. But the left is where the action is. There's the charging port, an HDMI port, a LAN port, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, a USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port, and a 3.5mm audio and headphone jack. As for the connectivity, there's Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 support. So yeah, you're pretty much covered here. Lastly, there's the battery. There's a 90 watt hour battery with fast charging support and the laptop comes with a 280 watt power adapter. It powers all the maxed out internals in the S17 and it also charges the laptop from 0 to 50% in around half an hour. Also, in case you're wondering, there's also support for up to 100 watt USB-C charging. Now, Asus claims that the 90 watt hour battery in this laptop can last up to 13 hours on regular usage. Now, that's obviously a bit too much. I wouldn't expect that, but it should be decent enough. So that was a good look at the brand new ROG Zephyrus S17 2021 edition. And yeah, I know this is an expensive flagship gaming laptop, but clearly it has the specs, the features, the design to go with that 3 lakh price tag. I mean, Asus has upgraded things all around. I mean, the full power core i9 plus RTX 3080 GPU makes up for a very powerful combo. The design looks very premium all around. And I like that Asus has gone back to the traditional keyboard and trackpad design and also opted for a 4K and UHD panel this time, while also bringing in a LAN port, a full-size SD card slot, and a webcam, which are all missing in the last gen S17. Also, the keyboard is now an optical mechanical one. The speakers are upgraded and the battery is bigger. So yes, the new Zephyrus S17 2021 does seem like an all-around high-end gaming laptop. 
But what do you guys think of the new S17 and the 3 lakh price tag? I want to know that, so make sure to comment down below. Also, this is very important. Give this video a like. If you enjoyed it, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.